you, Princess Asilme, Prince Eluin, and Prince Adreeson, returned back to the Galing Castle with the Akashian water. Prince Adreeson informed Prince Eluin of the dire circumstances surrounding his father, King Alphare, and the darkness that was corrupting his mind. Thankfully, you were able to heal him with the Akashian water, allowing him to heal from the wounds the Air Lug assassins had given him. Meanwhile, Kaesatran had taken a royal Galing guard's body and travelled to the Air Lug castle, where Princess Silvana planned to sway Prince Eluin to her side if he had wished to save his parents. Priest Kaesatron, angered at Princess Silvana's lack of foresight in strategy, ordered her to withdraw the Air Lug forces back to the castle. Late that night, you hear the tapping of pebbles hitting your bedroom window and decide to take a look. I need to speak with you. Meet me in the maze. I'm sorry to call you out this late, but I wanted to talk with you, and it couldn't wait. Well, I have been thinking. When we were in Lembas, the canteen, I thought we had lost it when the horse went missing. I remember putting it back in the saddlebag. How did you come by it? And why didn't you tell me when I mentioned it, when the horse went missing? A seal may. Have I done something or said something to you where you couldn't trust to tell me? Fine. You can at least tell me what you wanted to say after the Karshan spirits that surrounded us left. Hmm. I see. So, the priest and priestess twins told you to take the water to the guardian shrines. Hmm. If... Blessing the shrines will help regain our communication with the Guardians, then. That's something that we will have to let Idrisen's parents know. I'm not sure how we'll get to the Air Loop Shrine given the circumstances, but I'm sure getting to the other ones won't be a problem. Asilme. About what my father said earlier. I'm... I'm sorry. He, he shouldn't have said those things to you. It's, it's not his place to tell you who to... love. I... I think it's time we get back to bed. Much to plan when we go saving the realm. <laughs> oh... Princess Asilme, I do apologize for waking you up, but 
breakfast is being served and the king and queen would like to discuss what happened during your trip. You look wonderful this morning, Princess Cecile May. Let me take you to Adrisen, as he was very adamant on seeing you first thing. Sire, Princess Cecile May. Oh, my sweet Cecile May. Thank you, Victor. I'll take it from here. Of course, my prince. Princess. Well, I hoped you slept well, Cecile May. Today is a big day, dealing with what my parents are planning. But afterwards, I... I hope that we can get some time to spend alone with each other. I think a small reprieve from royal duties is well deserved after what we've been through. Come, let's not keep them waiting any longer. The sooner we get this done, the sooner we can have time to ourselves. Discussing how good it is to see Elphere up and about. Thank you, Armor House. And it's good to be back. Thank you again, Princess Cecile May. You will have the Elfast clan at your call should you ever need it. I think she would have it regardless, simply because of what we're up against. Right. If I ever get my hands on Sylvana. Trust us, son. I'm sure there is a long line of people who would have a lot to say to her. But we must not let emotions cloud our judgment. Doing so will give your enemy the opening they need to attack. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, enough about her. We need to know what happened to you three when you left the castle last until now. Well, as I stated before, we got to the Akashian Library and did find some books on the old guardians. Unfortunately, nothing on a seal maze guardian. Some time that evening, the Air Lug assassins took the life of the griffin we rode there on and cornered us in the library. A seal maze took shelter in the Akashian Grotto underground. We did manage to fight off those assassins without a problem. Indeed we did, but we did get hurt. Thankfully, with the Seal May's help and the Grotto Water, she was able to heal our wounds as if it never happened. Even gave us a boost in our magical energies. Which also helped us save the Eelfast village from some bandits that were taking advantage of the current situation. Yes, and reports on that village say they are doing much better now. I'm glad. And after that? That was when we camped in the nearby forest before heading back to the castle. That was around the time we found out about your call to arms and shelter King Armorhouse. A refugee informed us that they couldn't travel through the portals due to the darkness causing them to go chaotic. Well, we didn't realize that until after a volley of enemy arrows caused the citizens to panic and a seal maze horse to run off. And Lewin was able to follow her through after I got knocked off my own horse. Yeah, a seal maze horse ran straight into a portal and I followed after. A few more assassins followed after her, but I was there to aid her. We tried returning back to the portal, but it had closed behind us. 
stranding us in the realm we travelled to. We found out later on, through a book that Isilme had snuck out of the Akarshan library, that we were in a realm called Limbos. Not only that, there was only perpetual night, and time moved much differently there. The only beings we came across were the souls of the Akarshan elves. How is that possible? Akarshan elves to survive in another realm? Strange indeed. I'm sure the Guardians will know how it is possible when we're able to talk to them once more. About that, Asilme says she knows of a way to make that possible. Asilme, tell us how we could help. It's crucial that we establish contact with them again. You explain that the Akashian spirits allowed you to speak with the last Akashian priest and priestess who gave you the mission to bless the shrines. Amazing. Well, with how the water worked on me, that would no doubt help us speak with the guardians once again. But blessing the shrines will be a difficult journey. The Guardians have closed off access to them. Well, I'm sure Silme will be able to find that way, given that's what the Akashian priest and priestess told her to do. Right. Well, was there anything else to add? Only that we were able to reach a working portal, which was how we were able to leave Limbas. I had received word from a Silme in the Dream Realm to meet them at the portal, and that's how we knew when and where to meet them to get them back safely here. Hmm. Well, that does fill in a few details. But for now, I think you three shall let us take care of the rest of the planning. Quite right. Take some time to yourselves, and we'll let you know after what we're planning. Of course. Don't worry, Aluin. We shall get your mother back and stop whatever Silvana has planned. You ready, Asilme? Let's go. Priest Kesatron, the Aerlith army has returned back to the castle. What's the reason for calling such a retreat? The reason is that due to your impatient tactics, the other royals will be planning an assault on the Aerlith kingdom to get Queen Anania back after removing the darkness from King Elvare. How is that even possible? Well, I'm not going to give... And we are not. I need you to take your parents and Queen Anania to Nithos Shrine. He would be able to make sure no one else will be able to go near the island for any rescue attempts. I want you to personally take care of them. No one else. Now go. I have to plan against this attack. Yes, please, Kesatron. Mm. It does seem that Lewin is still worrying for his mother. But I know our parents will find a way to get her back safely. They were able to keep Castle Eelfast out of Air Lug hands. I just hope he doesn't do anything impulsive. Well, with his father here recovering, I'm sure he wouldn't want to leave his side. You've been quiet 
Is there something on your mind, my dear? Ah, yes. The Akashian water. Well, if I'm correct, it's possible that when our parents lead the attack on the Erlu castle, that would free us from being able to obtain more water. I'm sure they will also have a royal escort with us as well this time. A seal may. And leave the details to my parents. They will have it all sorted out and let us know what we need to do. For now, my love, it's a brand new day and I just want to share it with you. Feel up to a walk around the gardens and maybe a rest under the newly blossoming Lote Mel. Come on then, let's go. This way. <sighs> it's so good to be by your side once more. To hold your hand with mine. Hmm. To even caress your soft cheek and look deeply into your eyes. <sighs> you know, I'd do anything to be with you for eternity. Maybe, perhaps, when this is all over and the realm is not needing to be saved, what we have could be something more. The notion of spending the rest of my life with you has filled my mind and heart with so many questions. Questions I would hope you could answer for me. Perhaps even answers we could discover together. Oh, see you, mate. steal you away from all of this and to never turn back to look upon your beauty and feel the warmth of your love as I embrace you in my arms the way you glow when the sunlight dances across your skin and how your eyes sparkle like precious gems Oh, my dear Asilme, are a treasure to behold. <laughs>